Hi, I'm Joel Goldman, and I kill people, but only for fun, yours and mine. I write mysteries and thrillers that explore what happens when things go wrong, especially when a killer thinks no one is watching. I began writing my first book in June 1992 while I was still practicing law. One of my partners came into my office and poured his heart out to me, complaining about another partner who was making his life miserable, looking to me for a solution. I didn't hesitate and told him, let's write a murder mystery, kill the son of a bitch off in the first chapter, and spend the rest of the book figuring out who did it. So I did, and I've never looked back. That book became Motion to Kill and introduced Lou Mason, a hard-nosed, reckless trial lawyer who I'd hire if my life were on the line. Lou Mason debuted in 2002, making me a 10-year overnight success. Along the way, I learned a lot about the craft of writing, never forgetting my mother's review of an early draft of Motion to Kill when she said it was pretty good, but the sex scenes were kind of dry. I had the opportunity to ask myself that question, what happens when things go wrong, when I developed a movement disorder called tics in 2004. Tics is one of those neurological mysteries, no known cause and no known cure. It makes me shake, spasm, and stutter, none of which a trial lawyer dreams about. The good news is that it's not life-threatening or life-shortening, but it is life-annoying and it meant that I had to leave my law practice. So the what happens when things go wrong question became, what was I going to do with my life? The answer was easy. I would live it in a meaningful way, get as much as I could out of every day, make a positive contribution to my family, friends, and community, and kill people. That's how my second series featuring former FBI Special Agent Jack Davis got started. I gave Jack my movement disorder and sent him out to do battle, even though he sometimes shakes when he should shoot. I've been so fortunate in my life to be blessed with successful careers as a lawyer and as a writer, but that's nothing compared to the blessings of my wonderful wife, sons, daughter, and daughter-in-law. Lou and I are both lawyers, and Jack and I share the same movement disorder but I think I'll let them handle the tough cases and the bad guys.